Welcome back, everybody, to Anchor Down. I'm with Aiden. How's it going, Calvin? It's going pretty good. How about you? Good. Yeah, welcome back to another show. Um, finishing up the school year at Hibbing High School. You got you got finals this week? Yeah, I got a chemistry final and then a social. So, yeah. Thursday so and Friday. With, um, with you being distance learning, are you going into school for that, or do they let you take it at home on the iPad? No, I get to take it at home, so. Yeah. I don't have to leave my the comfort of my own home. Yeah. So, yeah. You got, you've been studying. You you ready for your chemistry final? Probably not. But the, the, the social one I got. Okay. That, that one's easy. Probably study for the chemistry final then tonight. Yeah. yeah. So uh, today I got the choir concert. Yeah. Um, you excited for that? Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little excited. Just yeah. Yeah, I got a dance for everybody. Yeah, H H Bat's streaming it. Um, what time does your your part of the choir concert start, or how do you know the schedule? My part is seven thirty, but then all like the younger ones, the younger ones like seventh and eighth grade start at six fifteen. Okay. So, yeah. are they are they making you guys wear masks for that, or um, no for the choir members? Oh man, I I, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. We were practicing with masks on and everything, so like. He's, he didn't really say anything, yeah. so yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. That that's gonna be at the auditorium, right? Yeah. Yeah. What time do you have to do you have to watch the earlier concert before you or no? No, I don't think so. So I just show up seven twenty or something. Yeah. You ready? And you say, you said you guys are dancing. Uh, <laughs> what what is like the theme for dancing? Disney songs. Yeah. So different outfits and stuff and yeah, do good you have dances. For, do you have for any outfits or are you just a dancer? No, I gotta wear some outfits, like flannel and jeans. <laughs> some jeans. I'm I'm a big fan of jeans, no cap. So. Yeah, uh, the band. I know the band concert was Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. It was earlier this week, and yeah, so it would be nice to get the choir concert in too. Are they, Are they letting anybody in, or do you have to have a ticket? Uh, the choir members they get like four tickets for people. So I don't know if there's any more coming, but everybody gets four tickets. Did you give out your, all four of yours? Yeah, I did. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> come watch. Family. Maybe maybe Zach hasn't given out all four, but you can check with that. Yeah, um, you can ask Zach. Yeah. Um, I uh, just want to let the audience know. Just check out the Blue Jacket Career Academy's Instagram page. Um, we'll, we'll be posting more often, and um, yeah. Do you want you want to let them know what we're gonna be posting about? Yeah, Mondays are like motivational quotes or just words that help you get through the week. I'm saying because Monday, you know, everybody knows that's the worst day of the week. Yeah. You know, we starting uh, working Wednesday, just going around the high school, like with high school students with, with their jobs, see what they do, and then uh, fun Friday. Um, I don't really know, <laughs> but. We could find something fun. For yeah, every I, th Friday. I think it's yeah, it's gonna be more of like a free day where we can like post different things like Flashback Friday, like History or Fun Friday, like uh -huh. fun school activities or summer activities. Um, but yeah, the Wednesday one will be nice um, posting about kids being in the in the workplace. Um, yeah, I know Rudy's Rudy's is looking for. Um, employees so if if you guys are watching obviously you're watching if you see this but um you uh you can apply to rudy's if you want if you want to make some bank i know some bank yeah callan said he was going to apply at rudy's but he still hasn't yet so are you gonna are you gonna apply no I, I did i did but i haven't heard a call back so yeah, maybe you should just call him again or something <laughs> yeah, or yeah. maybe they just denied you yeah i guess so <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> so, uh, speaking, let's speak about the outside world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some, some professional sports, the twins are like 19 and 29, three game win streak, something like that. Yeah. And then uh, the Loons, still two and four. Harrison, not doing very good, man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, and um, the Wild are actually their first round of playoffs, I think. Yeah. yeah. And they're down three to two in the series. Uh, game six is tonight at the XL Energy Center in St. Paul. And if they tie it, they go back to no, yeah, go back to Vegas, right? I'm I pretty think sure. So. Yeah, 
So, um, yeah, definitely be tuned into that game tonight. Um, you won't be able to with a choir concert, but hopefully, nope. hopefully they can get another win. Uh, the NBA playoffs are starting. Who Who's your pick for the winner of the NBA playoffs? Mm, no. I like the Nets. I like... And I, I like Harden. I've always been a fan of Harden, so maybe Nets. Uh, but Luca and then the Mavs. The Mavs. <laughs> yeah. you like the Mavs? Yeah, I like Luca and Kristaps actually. Yeah, they yeah, sweet. they actually beat the Clippers um, twice now, so they're two and zero. Luca had thirty nine and seven and seven last night. Um, your Nuggets are one and one. Yeah. Yeah. You think they're going to beat the Blazers? Uh, it's going to be tough. Um, especially without Jamal Murray, yeah. suffering that ACL, but uh, hopefully we can still do it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, I was listening on my way back down to, from the cities last night. I was listening to the Lakers game, and they finally got a win. Um, Do you watch any of the game last night or no? Not really. I was just listening to you guys argue over it Yeah. in the group chat. So. Do you want the Lakers or the Suns to win? I do want the Lakers to win. You do or don't? I do. Okay. You don't like the Suns? No, not really. Not a big fan of Devin. Why not? I just don't like him. <laughs> yeah. Do you a uh, Bucks fan, or who do you want? Who who else would you want to win the East if the Nets lose? I have no idea. Nobody. <laughs> I don't want the Bucks to win. Okay. Anybody but the Bucks. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. Other other professional sports, can you give us an update on European soccer? Yes, uh, Europa League final is actually tonight, um, two, not, not tonight, 2 p.m. for us. Okay. So, yeah, that would be interesting versus Manchester United and River Real. So what is the U Europa League? Like, what teams consist in there? It's like teams you know, um, who finish, like, fifth or sixth in the respective leagues. So it's like the losers, or like they're the, not losers, but like they're the not mid, the best. The middle like, of the pack teams. Yeah, and then Champions League final. That's the best. Those are the best guys in the world. Play Saturday. So what time is that game? Do you know? No, I have no idea. Okay. Do you know where that one's being played? Is it? They moved it to Portugal. I don't know where. I don't know why. And it's Chelsea and Manchester City. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to move it to Portugal, even though it's. Oh, England, so yeah. And I don't know. Does the um, Euro do the Euro uh, game start soon? Yeah, I, I can, a bunch of countries caught up their players for training camp. So yeah, so there's training they're right now. up soon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, back back to the Hibbing School um, subjects. Um, well, first I wanted to mention the Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather fight with professional sports. Who do you got winning that one? Man, I want Floyd to win, you know, because I, I don't really like Jake Paul, but you know, Jake Paul is he's a strong dude. So Yeah, he's, he's, he's a lot bigger than him, and he's got a bigger reach. Yeah. He's stronger. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. I, I bet Jake Paul wins. I mean, honestly, it looks like he's going to, but... I, Floyd, I, I, hasn't, I, Floyd hasn't lost a fight though. Yeah, but when was that time box? You know what I'm saying? When was that time fought? A long time ago. Yeah. Against McGregor. Yeah. Back to back to Hibbing. Um, last Saturday, the Hibbing Dillon Project had their ground, groundbreaking ceremony, and they're planning on finishing that October 16th. I know we looked at some um, pictures of what it's gonna look like. What do you think about it? I think it's a cool way to. Honor Bob Dylan, especially coming out of Hibbing. So, I don't know, it looks like a cool statue with uh, uh, one side with a bronze chair or something, and then the other side. Yeah. I don't remember what the other side says, but it looks, it looks nice. Yeah, it would definitely be nice to honor um, him with him going to high school here and graduating from the same building we're at. Um, for Hibbing Sports, they've, they've got their sections coming up, so hopefully they can continue to do well. I know. Baseball was in Cloquet yesterday, and I'm pretty pretty sure they won. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah, and tracks coming up. Um, I know you've got some buddies on the track team, so. And Jacob, yeah. shout out to Jacob. He said he was like the fa third fastest dude in Maryland when he was looking or something. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, so that boosts his hopefully, confidence. Hopefully they can do well in sections, and I know Amari Manning's um, been continuing to run very well, and 
they've got a nice relay and girls track is doing pretty well I think yes um, yeah and softball um, they beat Hermantown last night so that was that was a big win um, and speaking of softball we would like to welcome on our guests our second second set our pair of guests to the show um, so let's welcome JC Clajo and, and Maddie Clajo to Anchored Down. Hi, my name is Maddie Clajo. And my name is JC Clajo. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Anchored, Anchored Down. Down. Thank you guys for coming on the podcast today. You're our second, second guest after Mason Parker last week. Um, what grade are you guys in? We're both seniors. Okay. Um, <laughs> how, how is the school year with your senior year, obviously, and... Um, going back from distance to in-person to hybrid to distance and with COVID and everything, how did it go? You know, it was, it was definitely weird and I think mm -hmm. that was for everyone. Very different and yeah. um, just kind of had to adapt to it and no one really knew what the circumstances were going to be but I think everyone just kind of dealt with it the best they could and now it's starting to look up a little yeah. more with graduation coming <laughs> up and having less uh, restrictions and yeah. Yeah, just like Maddie said, we had to make the best of every moment. Yeah, yeah, definitely with the circumstances that we were handed, obviously me and Callan are juniors, so we hopefully will get our senior year, but you guys had a end of the, your junior year wasn't what you guys envisioned, and this whole year wasn't what you guys envisioned, but thankfully you guys can have your choir concert, or not choir, choir concert, I don't know why I said that, um, your graduation <laughs> next, next week, and um, yeah, hopefully a return to normalcy with that. So uh, with you guys both being seniors, you guys been here for a while. So, what activities and sports have you guys been here while you been in while you been here? Um, yeah. So when I first came to Hibby my ninth grade year, I did volleyball for a year, and then um, also softball and basketball. And then my sophomore year, I tried tennis, and then I've also been involved in NHS and leadership council. Yeah, um, <coughs> I am a diver. I did swimming a little bit too, but. I, I just dive now and then. And alpine, I'm in alpine skiing. Yeah, I'm also in softball. Just, just wanted, you, went, you went to state in alpine, or you went yeah, to state in skiing. Yeah, yeah I that's, went, that's great. I went to state in diving my junior year and then my senior year, but we didn't get a state yeah. tournament in the fall. And then I went to state in skiing okay. this year. That, that's, that's great. And um, you guys went to state in basketball. Your, what year was that? Your sophomore? My sophomore year, yeah, yep. yeah, so that, that's mm -hmm. definitely great that you guys... Um, um, it may, made those academic or not academic um, sport achievements, and I'll, I'll let you continue with your activities. Yeah, and then I'm also in softball. Um, we've got sections coming up in that, and then I'm also in student council, leadership council, national honor society, um, and yeah. That's yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great that you guys are so involved with um, <laughs> both of you being in softball. Um, how's the how's the end of the season, or how's the season been going with that? Um, yeah, so, I mean, the past couple of weeks, we've kind of been in, like, a little slump, if yeah. that's what you want to call it, but, I mean, every team has mm -hmm. those times. Um, we beat Hermantown last night, and that was a huge win for us, um, seating-wise. Yeah. So, our first playoff game is next Tuesday, and I don't think we'll end up hopping to get a home game. Okay. So, we'll most likely be going down to Hermantown to play Hermantown. Yeah, would that be a 4-5 <laughs> seed, then, or do you guys not know um, what seed you are? I'm not quite sure. The last time I looked, we were four, okay. but after losing to Hermantown the previous week and beating them, I'm not sure yeah, if that's uh, enough to <coughs> hop back up. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hopefully hopefully you guys have a good finish to your season there and get get some playoff wins. Um, how um, With your fall and winter sports, obviously COVID affected those a bit more, but what was the difference between fall and winter sports and now the spring with the return to normalcy somewhat with COVID? Um, for me, there was a really big difference in, on the swim team, we were very, very cautious about COVID. Yeah. Like, even as a diver, I would do my thing, get in the water, <clears throat> and then I'd have to come right back out and put a mask on, yeah. I'd be dripping wet, and then Vens would have run around the pool, walk around the pool, yeah. and <laughs> he had a big pole thing that he'd make sure everyone was distanced mm -hmm. with, and he was pretty harsh with the uh, COVID guidelines, but that was good, because yeah. we didn't have any team quarantine kind of a thing, which I know took down a lot of sports, yeah. which was really sad. Um, and then with softball, we haven't really been having too many restrictions, which has mm -hmm. been really nice. Mm -hmm. I know at the beginning of the season, 
we had to wear masks, but now we don't have to wear those anymore and we're outside and yeah, yeah it's been going well. Yeah, and like um, with basketball, I mean, it was kind of tough just because when you're in like a high intensity running sport, yeah. it's kind of tough for like breathing wise. But um, just like Maddie said with her coach, our coach was kind of strict on wearing a mask and staying socially distanced and um, we didn't have any quarantine problems, yeah. so that was good. And just like she said with softball, it's great to not have to wear a mask and just kind of be back yeah, to normal. Yeah, it's definitely <clears throat> great that you guys don't have to wear those anymore outside with softball. And with um, the winter sports, it's great that the coaches were do are holding the um, standards accountable. And yeah, it's definitely a big difference this year between even fall with soccer and fall sports and winter and um, spring. Yeah, so obviously it's a little bit until you guys go out into like the big world and the real world. Uh, what was your guys' favorite memory um, just in school with like, a teacher or a sport? Man, I would say some of my favorite memories were practicing with the diving team. That was really fun. We had a great group of girls. Um, I really liked being out on the ski hill. Uh, just being in class, just laughing with all your friends, that's yeah. something that's very memorable. Even sitting at the lunch table, we had a nice lunch table um, for a few years and it yeah. was lots of laughs and yeah, it was, it was a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, just like Maddie said, um, making like new friendships through all, all the sports and um, I'd have to say one of my favorite memories would definitely be going to state for basketball. That was really fun um, to experience that. Like not many people get to have that mm -hmm. moment. So yeah. Yeah, and if I know you, you came to the high school a bit late, but who would you guys say seven through 12 and nine through 12 or 10 through 12 with you, who, would, who is your favorite teacher? And I really liked uh, Mrs. Dana Lindstrom. Yeah. She does a lot for our school. Um, I liked Mr. Goats mm -hmm. and Mr. Wetzel and Mr. Sadness. So yeah. I, they were really great. They were funny guys. <laughs> yeah. It's always great to have a teacher that can be funny in the classroom and just keep right. everyone's spirits up. And yeah. Yeah, and I would have to say mine is probably Miss Erickson. Yep. I feel like um, when I did come here in ninth grade, she was one of my first math teachers I had, and we just kind of connected at a different level. And yeah. I feel like she's always been there, so yeah. Yeah, definitely having that teacher with you moving here um, to kind of help you make that transition is great. But yeah, we definitely have a ton of great teachers here. and. Uh, personally, Mr. Sadness that you mentioned, I, I really like him. I like his jokes and his class, even though we're um, getting ready for a chemistry final, which Ooh, won't be good luck. Yeah, won't be we, we took that last year. It's quite the grind. Yeah. Did, you, mm -hmm. the, did you have to take the standardized one or just? Uh, um, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I, it remember had something either. to do with through UMD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, yeah, it yeah, was it was really tough. So yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah, yeah hopefully, hopefully it goes okay. <laughs> um, do you know what your future plans are, um, if you have a college in mind or if you don't, um, and what you want to go into? Um, I'm going to NDSU, uh, Fargo, North Dakota next year for architecture. I'm super excited. It's, it's a little bit of a drive away. It's super flat, so there's not yeah. many ski hills around, <laughs> which, which is a bummer, but I'm, I'm ready for the new adventure mm -hmm. and yeah. Um, yeah, so I haven't just quite decided yet, but I do have two options in mind, um, Moorhead State and then Bemidji mm -hmm. State, and I plan on majoring in biology with like a pre-dentistry program to kind of go yeah. towards orthodontics. That's, that's cool. So yeah, I should be making my final decision in the next couple yeah, of days, hopefully. Yeah, yeah that's, that, are, you, are you guys excited to um, kind of go, go to college and somewhat be on your own? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we're both very excited. <laughs> I mean. When you live in a small town, there's obviously mm -hmm. the perks of it, but we're at that point where we're ready to move on to yeah. something bigger and meet new people and mm -hmm. just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Would you go <laughs> each go to campus in August then, sometime in August? Do you know? Um, I, know. I know I'm going in August 21st. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's probably, probably like the middle of around August, August or at the same end. time. Yeah. 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 And, um, yeah, that's definitely... Um, exciting that you guys are moving on and um, going on to bigger and better things. Um, so with both of you living out of town, what was the hardest, or not the hardest, but what was it like living further away from school? Uh, 
Um, you know, at first, like, when we weren't able to drive, it kind of stunk just because, yeah. like, you go to school, your parents pick you up, and you have to go back home, so you can't really, like, stay. It, it was harder to stay in town to kind of hang out with friends yeah. just because you couldn't drive, but, I mean, once I got my license, it wasn't that bad, and I just, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, I live in Side Lake, and I actually lived in Hibbing, like, 10 minutes from school up until I was 16, and then... I turned 16, we moved up to the lake. It's about 25, 30 minutes. So it's it's a little different, yeah. but I got used to it. And like Jace was saying, I was able to drive right away yeah. when we first moved out there. But the biggest challenge is just like uh, time management yeah. and knowing, okay, if I have to be there, I got to leave you know, right. 30 minutes early. Right early. Yeah. Or sometimes there'll be like downtime where you're stuck in town for a couple mm -hmm. hours and you just got to yeah. go to someone's house. Find yeah, something find something to do because you can't go, go back. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, at the end of the year, I heard there was like some sixth graders that like, touring the high school or whatever. I was just wondering if you guys had like any advice to the kids coming to the big building. Um, <laughs> my advice. Should I talk to you or talk to you? You can talk. Talk to him. Okay. Sorry about that. My advice for incoming sixth graders is that you need to savor every single moment because yeah. especially for JC and I, we had so much like. Oh, we'll just do it next year. We'll just do it next year. But then next year came, and we're locked in our house. Yeah. You never, yes. you never know what's gonna happen. So you just gotta savor every moment, and be outgoing, and just kind of don't say no as much. I know for me, like I didn't go to fall ball my first year, and looking back, since I missed out on senior fall ball, I was like, I should have gone, cause yeah, that's just something I missed out on, cause I said no, I didn't really want to go. I'll do it next year, and then there wasn't one, so. Yeah, I miss out on some memories there, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, JC? Yeah, and I definitely agree with Maddie, like, time does fly by, like, I oh know my goodness. when, like, you're the underclassman and, like, an upperclassman tells you, like, yeah, time does fly by, and you're like, oh, no, like, no, it doesn't, and then you get to your senior year, and you're like, wow, it, like, really does, so you yeah. just got to savor every moment, mm -hmm. like Maddie said. Especially yeah. that senior year, like, man, because we were stuck in distance learning, obviously, up mm -hmm. until, like, January. That went by a little bit slower, yeah. but then mm -hmm. right when January hit, it just flew. flew yeah. 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 It's, it's crazy how fast the past few months have gone, but... Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you guys remember when you came to the high school? Obviously, you came in 7th grade, I came grade, in 7th right? grade, yeah. 9th grade, ninth mm -hmm. grade for you. Do you remember what it was like being there the first couple of days? Um, yeah, so when I first came, I mean, I knew, like, some people coming in, but I was still, like... I was scared. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. not as outgoing as Maddie is, so I'm kind of shyer, so that was kind of hard, but I definitely got used to it. Like, people were very yeah. helpful around the school, so. Yeah, and it is it's bigger. It's a lot mm -hmm. bigger than, like, the Lincoln, and yeah. it's you have to adapt to it, but the thing is you just got to really focus on the support group around you. Like, stick with your friends, make new friends, especially with, yeah. like, when you go from 6th grade to 7th grade, a lot more kids join you, yeah. Yeah. whether they're from the Assumption or from a different town, and just got to be open to meeting as many people yeah. as you can. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, definitely agree with that. It's definitely a bit scarier going from your, like, 20 people, 6th grade classes to that, and especially for you moving from a home right. or a different town. Yeah, it'd definitely be different. Um, yeah, um, Callan, you got other questions? Um, I guess you guys are both on the same softball team, playing together and whatever. Uh, what do you guys think, I mean this goes for any sport, but like, what do you guys think makes a good team or whatever? A good team. Yeah. That yeah. is so important when it comes mm -hmm. to a team sport, especially like softball, basketball, hockey, whatever it is, mm -hmm. even right. individual sports like track. And you got to have a nice tight-knit group. Yeah. yeah. And what's really important is just – not having any drama mm -hmm. and just <laughs> going there to have fun, support each other. You're obviously going to be competitive, yeah. but be competitive towards the other team, not towards your own teammates. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> having having that team chemistry we, um, is is really important because you want to see your teammates succeed because it's they're on your team. Um, so with um, NHS, you you want to let us know how what what that is and like kind of I know you you're the president right of NHS this year? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm the president of NHS for um, 
our class and yeah. it's just it's a group of um, kids that are asked to join by like teachers and that kind of thing you go through an interview process and got to have a certain GPA got to be involved and yeah. I know we just did like the blood drive mm -hmm. um, which was a big thing yeah. Casey want to mm -hmm. see some other stuff about NHS yeah um, it's just based kind of on like your character your scholarship yeah. volu volunteering so I mean you really kind of got to work at it it's kind of like like when I got asked, I was like, "Wow, that like everything kind of paid off. Yeah. Like I worked mm -hmm. for it. It's so. definitely an honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely. It, it's an honor because I know we had our induction a week or two ago. Um, but it's an honor and it's like a reminder of you got to keep that stuff up and continue right. to uh, volunteer and help the community. Yeah, and I think being in NHS is just another thing that proves hard work pays off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, you you work super hard. And then you realize, oh, hey, I got into NHS. Mm -hmm. I just got a scholarship. This all will pay off in the yeah. end, even if when you're doing it, it might seem like it's for nothing. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and especially when you're younger, that like long-term picture is hard to see mm -hmm. with exactly. the future. Yeah, yeah, especially because that time flies by. And like you guys said, in seventh grade, you, you're like, wow, we have five or six years here. and. Yeah, with uh, we're juniors, but we only have one more year left after this, and you guys can t attest to that, that it just goes by so mm -hmm. fast, and you make a lot of memories and meet a lot of new people. How are you guys feeling about being seniors next year? Uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't really know. It's kind of crazy that it's one more year, and then I'm out of hibbing or whatever, but <laughs> I mean, hopefully. So. <laughs> wow. No, I'm not disinhibbing, but like, trying to see a bigger city or something. Yeah, 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 it's it's definitely weird because like with COVID, um, ninth grade was normal, seventh and eighth grade, they, were, they kind of flew by, but ninth grade was normal. Last year was kind of weird towards the end, and then this year is weird, but we don't know what next year will be like. Um, but yeah, it's 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 scary. Yeah. Um, don't, don't really know. You, do you know what you're gonna do yet or no? Not really. Yeah, we we gotta figure we gotta figure that out. But yeah. You guys okay. time. Yeah, you yeah. still have time. Yeah, yeah. You still have time. <laughs> Did you guys? You guys? So with figuring stuff out, um, with what do you what you want to do? Did you guys like figure that out recently or? Um, I kind of knew right away. Yeah. Just because, um, I always I was never positive about what I wanted to go into because there's mm. so many options, but. Mm -hmm. Once I figured it out, I really, I had like one choice for college, which I was lucky with because JC for going into biology has lots yeah. of choices, mm -hmm. which makes it harder to choose. But like for architecture, there's not as many choices. Mm -hmm. And so I just automatically went, I'll go to NDSU. And I really, I went to the campus. I like it there. And yeah. Yeah. That, that's a, you said that's a Fargo, right? So yep. how, how far of a drive is that about? I think it's like four, four. hours, four and a half. Mm -hmm. Four, yeah. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on and yes, getting, giving, thank you. getting um, us some content for the show and being our second guest. Um, you guys can debate with Mason Parker about who's better. Um, <laughs> Definitely us. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're listening, Mason and Parker. <laughs> yeah. We got we got to make sure they tune in. But yeah, thank you and. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. No for problem. Sure. And thank you, audience, for tuning in to episode five of Anchored Down. We'll see you next time. Hibbing Public Access Television would like to thank U.S. Bank for providing us with studio space.